I've been called a terrorist, I've been asked to go back home, I've had people in their cars making threatening gestures. For people like Latifa Abu Chakra, a British Palestinian living in London, just going about her daily business doesn't feel safe. It makes me feel that as a Muslim woman in this country, no matter how hard I work, no matter how good I can be, it will never be enough because apparently Muslims and Palestinians are inherently terrorists according to the system here, according to the narrative of the media and according to the narrative of the, of the politicians. As fragile as a spider's web, the Zionist entity is shaking with fear. In an early morning shock, Palestinian resistance factions from Gaza launched an unprecedented three-pronged attack on the entity. First, armed fighters sailed over the Israeli fence to Gaza using hand gliders. Simultaneously, 5,000 rockets were launched into the Zionist entity from the open-air prison of Gaza, disabling that much vaunched Iron Dome system. At the same time, Palestinians broke down the fence, which fighters had sailed over using bulldozers. What ensued was the homecoming of at least 1,000 Palestinians from the resistance factions into the fragile Zionist entity. Military bases were seized by the resistance and Israel's Merkava tanks were captured and taken back to Gaza. Settlements like Stehrot, whose Zionist guests had previously watched from hilltops while Gaza was bombed, were seized by the resistance. Over 100 settlers have been taken as prisoners of war by the resistance. The vast majority are members of the occupation forces, 